shocking reality this morning. The Delta variant now accounting for 85% increase in COVID cases in kids in just the last week. This morning we are joined live via Zoom with uh, Dr. Roberto Colon. He is the chief medical officer at Miami Valley Hospital. He joins us live via Zoom for this exclusive interview this morning. And Dr. Colon, you have been with us since the beginning of the pandemic over a year and a half ago. With the new information we're now hearing about the Delta variant in kids, should parents worry? Should we be concerned this morning about what we're now learning? Well, I don't know that we need to necessarily be any more worried than we have been over the past year and a half. I think it just, again, raises concern that we are not done with COVID and that this is something that is going to affect kids, not just adults. Which is kind of something that I, th I feel like that idea has sort of been new um, and the you know, because we, yes, some kids have been affected by the COVID-19 virus, but it doesn't seem to affect them as much as older adults. Are we seeing it change with this Delta variant? Do you think? I don't know the one. I don't know that we're necessarily seeing a change with how COVID is affecting kids or how it is being transmitted um, to kids, but because there are more children who are not vaccinated, we are seeing that children, particularly those under the age of 12, are more susceptible to picking up the Delta variant because they have absolutely no protection at all. And at this point, what are the signs and symptoms that parents need to look out for? Are they different? Uh, do they, does it affect kids differently than, the, than it does adults? It does not appear that the Delta variant has any different manifestations or affects people any differently. We still are seeing the same respiratory things like cough, shortness of breath, fatigue, fever, um, some GI manifestations like nausea and vomiting. So really nothing different than what we were seeing before. Now, it is a hot debate right now. Obviously, the American Academy of Pediatrics coming out and saying that, um, you know, they support mask wearing in schools. The CDC not really, you know, the two of them are not agreeing at this point. I think I actually got that backwards. I apologize. Um, so should kids be wearing masks when they return to school on that first day? Well, I think if you if you look at what the CDC recommendations have been saying and then again, what we are seeing from many of the medical societies, there is some alignment in there and the CDC references what's going on in your community. So I think with what we see in our area, particularly right now and in so many parts of the country, the safest approach really is as we begin the school year that for everybody's protection, we do have our kids wearing masks and considering that indoors, everybody in an area of increased transmission like we are seeing in our region is going to continue wearing the mask regardless of their vaccination status for the time being. Dr. Roberto Colon, one quick question because I did get a wrap from my producer. Um, at this point, the Cincinnati Children's Hospital coming out and saying masks do not um, create any behavioral issues or any other issues. Can you, you know, is that myth debunked? Is that, you know, debunked at this point? It, it is, it should be. People need to listen to the fact that masks do not hurt people. They do not cause behavioral issues and they do not interfere with any gas exchange. So there are really no health problems that we know of associated with masks. Dr. Roberto Colon, Chief Medical Officer at Miami Valley Hospital. Thank you so much for joining us live exclusively this morning and breaking down this incredibly important topic. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. For the first time since April, new daily COVID-19 cases in Ohio are above 2,000 today. As the start of the school year approaches, the American Academy of Pediatrics reports the Delta variant increased COVID-19 cases in kids by 85% last week. Yet a Dayton 24-7 Now poll reveals that parents are split in their decision to go mask free. Only on Dayton 24-7 Now, our Allison Walker speaks with infectious disease experts about the risk. Here at Dayton Children's Hospital, there's been a gradual increase in kids being hospitalized for COVID-19 over the past few weeks. And doctors say it's being driven by the Delta variant, which is leading to growing concerns as we're so close to the start of the school year. Some of the more preliminary data has shown that it has the potential to be um, causing more severe infections in children. Dr. Michael Claudie, the chief of Dayton Children's Hospital's Division of Infectious Diseases, says as more and more children are being hospitalized with COVID-19, doctors are learning about how the Delta variant impacts kids. The symptoms that 
we've been seeing recently in children who have been hospitalized are of a more respiratory nature, shortness of breath, cough, um, complaints of chest pain, and the children who are old enough to complain of chest pain. Again, much like the symptoms that had been reported in adults with the earlier variants. Claudie hopes all parents opt for universal masking ahead of the school year. And to Dr. Manny Patty with Cincinnati Children's Hospital says many of parents' mask concerns can be debunked. As a pediatrician and a developmental pediatrician who deals with children that have different developmental and behavioral concerns, that is completely untrue. There are no risks to children um, with regards to mask wearing, whether it's their physical health or their behavioral health. And while parents in the Miami Valley have the freedom to choose, local doctors and our nation's top medical organizations are urging parents with unvaccinated children to opt for that mask so we can beat this pandemic once and for all. Reporting for Dayton 24-7 Now News, I'm Allison Walker.